Hi friends, this is Sumit from Madhira Diaries and today we discuss an Indian whiskey, a one of its kind or maybe even the first of its kind, an Indian single malt that's finished in Cabernet Sauvignon wine barrels. This is probably the first Indian single malt finished in any kind of cask and the whiskey is called Rampur Asava. Asava is a Sanskrit term used in Ayurveda and it means fermented herbal juice which is close to wine and probably the reason why they call it Asava. Let's talk a little about the distillery. Rampur gets its name from where the distillery is located in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Rampur is the city and it's located at the foothills of the Himalayas. The distillery is owned by Radiko Khetan and has been operating since 1943, even before the independence of India. And they have been manufacturing a lot of different spirits like vodka and different Indian whiskies like 8pm, which are not very popular globally, but very well consumed in India. It's the largest distillery in Asia. But with the Rampur brand, they enter the premium single malt category which was started in India mainly by Amrut, Paul John and now Rampur is getting its name globally. Rampur uses locally sourced malt and is distilled in traditional pot still barrels. Usually aged in ex bourbon cask barrel but this one aged in ex bourbon cask barrels and finished in Indian Cabernet Sauvignon wine barrels. The master distiller found a boutique winery in the northern western state of Maharashtra, a city called Nashik, where most of the winery region of India is. He found the right Cabernet Sauvignon barrel and tried to finish it in the wine barrels to get more flavors out of it. Cabernet Sauvignon is a common wine variety and we keep a lot of it and it pairs very well with Indian food. But these Cabernet Sauvignon barrels, as I said, are locally made in India. Rampur also offers in their collection three more different single malts. The Select, the one that's finished in X sherry barrels and also a double cask version. In the latest San Francisco Spirits Award, the Asava and the double cask versions won gold medals. But nowadays a lot of whiskeys win medals. The one thing I'm impressed about this is definitely the packaging and you'll see why once we open it. So it's a 45% ABV. There's no age statement on this whiskey, but in India age statement doesn't matter because it's so hot there that the angel share or the amount of alcohol that evaporates is so high that they cannot wait for 12 years. So there's no age statement. It just says decades of perfection and it's written on the packaging matured in American bourbon barrels and meticulously perfected in Indian Cabernet Sauvignon cask for the first time in the history like I said resulting in unique expression with an impeccable balance and on the back it shows the two barrels the ex bourbon cask and the Cabernet Sauvignon cask where it was finished in on the back it also says Rampur, a princely state of British India, worthy of its 15 gun salute, is known for its rich heritage and royal traditions. As a connoisseur of great taste, the royalty of Rampur indulged in the pleasure of pursuing perfection. Lot of difficult words. Connoisseur. Connoisseurs. I don't know. Something some people who enjoy whiskey a lot. Let's check it out. Like I said, the packaging is super impressive. If you see, let me open it over here. Look at that silk packaging matching the color. I think they went with this color because of the Cabernet Sauvignon purple color. The silk casing is beautiful. Really looks like handcrafted. India is a very big gift giving nation so it could be used for really giving gifts for weddings or I don't know, Father's Day is around the corner. Look at the bottle. It's beautiful. Very, very nicely packaged and the bottle itself looks very beautiful. 
the same information, Cabernet Sauvignon, American Bourbon Barrels, like I said, 45% ABV. Let's open it up and let it breathe a little before we pour it because it's a new bottle. Oh, nice popping sound. I must say it has a much darker color compared to single malls, but we'll try it. Let's pour a little. That's more than a little, but we'll try it. Looking at the color, it's much darker than the other Indian single malt I have had, the Paul John Nirvana. This is much more darker probably because of the Cabernet Sauvignon barrel aging. It's interesting that even American bourbons are trying a Cabernet Sauvignon finish. I saw it with Thomas S. Moore, which, ha which is made by Sazerac, the same company that makes Buffalo Trace, is trying a Cabernet Sauvignon, even a Chardonnay finish whiskey. It would be very interesting to compare this with that side by side. I forgot to mention the cost is around 80 US dollars. Let's see if it's worth that much. I felt it was a little steep. I don't know, the packaging is definitely impressive. Let's see whether the taste justifies it because at $80, you're, you're competing with a lot of 15 year old scotches or some really good scotches single malt. So let's test it out. Plus let's nose it. Rampur distilleries, I've been reading a lot, they talk about the tropical fruit smell, so you definitely get like the mangoes and some of those lychees if you have tasted ever. As growing up in India, I used to have a lot of lychee. You get the vanillas and caramels coming from the ex-bourbon cask. You get black peppers and little cinnamon to some of those spices it has a very good smell to be honest let's taste it cheers there's an oily texture it's medium bodied Still having the finish which is good. Getting all the spices like I said the black pepper and the cardamoms and and the fruits are definitely there. The tropical fruits like mangoes and, and apricots. The, the red wine is probably bringing those the darker fruit flavors like red cherry, the dark red cherries and plums. Take one more sip of it and like I said it has a long finish yeah you get that tobacco taste also overall it has a nice finish like I said it's my first whiskey or single malt that I'm having that's Cabernet Sauvignon cast finish. I've tried different port sherry finishes. The Glenmorangie 14 year Quinta Rubin comes in mind, which was sherry finished and a phenomenal whiskey, very smooth. Like this one was little younger than the 14 year old, but overall the Cabernet Sauvignon finish, I was a little doubtful about it, wine finished uh, whiskies, but this tastes really good then. I would think it would pair very well with Indian food like tandoori platters. It would be great to compare it with Thomas S. Moore bourbon that's finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrel just side by side to see what happens because Thomas S. Moore went into a new bourbon barrel, new oak cask barrel and then was finished in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels whereas this went in ex bourbon cask and, and it's a single malt different different story but I would love to see a side by side comparison and see how it finishes and how different they are. Overall 
my recommendation is if you get it try try it definitely i've heard good things about their 002 the only little problem i have with this one is the cost i still think 80 dollars is a little too steep for this i would be happy if it was like range costed around the 50 dollar range mark or 55 dollar range mark you're comparing it against 15 year old single malt scotches and I would still pick up a single mall scotch but this is one of a kind experience for special occasions and it's worth it. The packaging is amazing. So if you get a chance to try it, I know it's still not available in India I think. It's still only available outside India. You can get it in duty free shops in India but other than that it's still mainly in US, UK. I feel I read somewhere it's around 20 international countries. If you have tried it, do let me know in the comments. And if you have tried the other expressions, do let me know about those two and if it's worth picking up that double oaked or the Rampur Select. As always, don't drink and drive, drink responsibly. Like, subscribe, comment, all the above. Until next time, Sumit from Madhira Diaries.